Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So for this video, we are going to discuss self mastery, chapter five, trigonometric ratio from three. Question number one. Diagram on the right shows a cuboid. Q R S T U V W. Q R W V and P S T U are squares. Given that P Q equals to twelve cm and Q R equals to seven cm. Calculate tangent angle PQS. So angle PQS is here. Okay, I'll show you. This is angle PQS. So tangent PQS equals to seven over twelve. Opposite over adjacent. Next, B the length of TQ correct to four decimal for significant figures. So before we calculate the length of PQ. First, we need to calculate the length of SQ by using Pythagoras theorem. So SQ equals to 13.984. Next, then only we can calculate the length of Q. Okay. So the length of SQ is thirteen point eight nine two four. So TQ SQ square plus TS square. So the length of TQ equals to fifteen point five six cm. So C. The value of angle SQT in degree and minutes. So angle SQT is here. So you can use tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. So opposite of this angle is seven, and the adjacent is thirteen point eight nine. So angle SQT equals to twenty six degree forty five minute. Next question number two. The diagram on the right shows a, re a regular hexagon PQRSTU beside six cm. Calculate the angle of PTS. Angle PTS is here. As you can see, this is 90 degree. So, answer 90 degree. <coughs> B, angle TPS. TPS is here. So, what is angle? First, we, uh, you need to calculate this angle first. The interior angle for hexagon, you can use this formula, which is n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. So, since hexagon have 6 sides, so 4 times 180 divided by 6, you get 120. So, the interior angle of the hexagon is 120. As you can see here, it divides this angle into two equal parts. So, this angle equals to 60. Next, you can calculate this angle. So, this angle equals to 30, which is 180 minus 90 degree minus 60 degree. Next, question C. 
the length of PP in cm correct to three significant figures. This is length of PP. So you can use this angle, angle 30. Engine 30 equals to TS opposite over P. Adjacent side of this angle. So TS given 6 cm. Then you can calculate PP, which is 6 divided by tangent T, equals to 10.4 cm. Question D, ratio of area of triangle PTU to area of triangle PTS. So, as you can see, this is triangle PTU and this is triangle PTS. Triangle Uh, have a look at this to uh, UTSP UTSP is actually uh, divided uh, this hexagon by two equal parts so you, uh, we can say that this is two um, two parts and this is one part because hexagon uh, total got six parts. So when divided by three, it become, uh, sorry, divided by two, it become uh, three, three part. So this is two part. So triangle PTU is one part. Area triangle PTS is two part. So one is two, two. So question number three. The diagram on the right shows the rectangle ABCD. It is given that AB equals to 8. Here. BC equals to 2AB. BC equals to 2AB means 16. BC equals to 16. And N is the midpoint of BC. So it's actually 8, 8 cm. If MD equals to 1 over 4 AD, here MD 1 over 4 AD. As we know, AD is 16, so 1 over 4 um, AD, 1 over 4 times 16 equals to 4. So, the length of DM or MD equals to 4 cm, while the length of AM equals to 12 cm. So, calculate the length of MN, MN, in CM, state your answer in third form. So, this is MN. So, we use Pythagoras theorem to calculate the length of MN. MN, this is 8. Since this is 4, so here is 4. So, 8 square plus 4 square equals to square root 80. Next, 80 is actually 16 times 5. Then, separate these two. It becomes square root of 16 times square root of 5. Square root of 16 is 4 times square root of 5. So, final answer, 4 square root of 5 cm. So, question B, calculate the value of theta in degree and minute. So, this is theta. So, since you know the opposite and the adjacent sides, so we can use tangent. So, theta equals to 63 degree and the 6 minute. Question C, Shahril state that the ratio of the area of trapezium CDMN here CDMN to the trapezium AB and M is 1 is to 2. Shahril's statement true state the reason for your answer. So first we need to calculate area of CDMN and area of AB and M using formula of Area of trapezium. So 
area of trapezium CDMN equals to 1 over 2 times 4 plus 8 times length is 8. So this is the area of AB and M. 1 over 2 times 12 plus 8 times 8. So this is the area of CDMN and this is the area of trapezium AB and M. When you simplify this, you will get 3 over 5. So, is Shara's statement true? Not true. The actual ratio is 3 is to 5. So, that's all for this video. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye!